sunnier than most days You'll never see the sky if you keep looking down And if you take the wrong way Then maybe you should stay instead of turning around So let you keep Good morning everybody and welcome to Wednesday AKA my first day of sophomore year. I made it, I'm officially sophomore. Well, technically I was officially a sophomore when I ended freshman year, but as of today, I am starting sophomore year, so. And it's fully in person. We still have to wear masks, but hopefully we'll get to pull off a couple events this year. I'm going to talk to you guys more about it when I get ready. So this is the fit that I'm wearing. I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to be wearing this on top, but I'm going to go see. But this shirt's from Kohl's, this cardigan's from my mom, and then obviously the jeans. And I'm going to be wearing the Nikes that I got when I went to Virginia Beach. So let's go eat breakfast. Okay, so I did a little transfer to my phone to get ready with me, just so I have a little bit of time. So, so first of all, I don't get my, I don't have my schedule. Yeah, apparently for sophomores, juniors, and seniors, you don't get your schedule until like the first day. So, the only class that I know of that I have for period one is um, walking and fitness, which is the PE class I'm taking this year. We, my school, actually has an option for when we take PE, we can take any PE class we want. I think they have options ranging from recreation and sports, walking, fitness, yoga and fitness. And I think there's another one, but I'm not 100% sure on what it is. So I'm also, gonna, bleh, I'm also gonna explain what classes I'm taking this year. So I'm taking English honors, Spanish three honors. I took Spanish one in seventh and eighth grade. Spanish two honors last year, so taking Spanish three honors this year. Chemistry honors, and then I'm also taking geometry honors this year, and then last but not least, I'm taking American history one. So I'm really like excited, but like nervous today because I got my homeroom assignment, so I know where I'm going for homeroom, but I'm also getting a locker and they didn't send out the form yet, so I don't even know when I'm gonna get mine, but <sighs> let me know in the comments when if you guys start school already. But this cardigan is giving me very elementary school teacher vibes. I don't know, it's probably just me. What else is there to talk about? Oh, my eyeshadow brush is gone. Okay, so I guess I'm gonna look for it in here and just make sure it's in here. And I got a rush too. Oh, there we go. So, got the eyeshadow brush. What else can I talk about? Um, people. So, in school in general, I'm in like a couple emotions. So, like, I'm excited and I'm nervous and I'm scared. I'm excited because I put there's going to be a lot of people that I want to watch see today and I'm excited to see what all my classes are like except for PE and I'm also excited you know just to see to be in the environment and to get back into a regular routine I'm not excited or nervous because there's people I'm nervous to see and then I'm scared because there's people I don't want to see it's pretty much that simple I feel like the difference between being nervous and scared is that when you're nervous, you want to do something, and then when you're scared, you don't want to do it. So that's my interpretation of nervous and scared. But I think this is the completed look. I'm gonna do my eyebrows a little bit, and then I'll show you guys. So this is the completed look. It looks pretty natural. It looks like there's nothing there, but, and then obviously this is the outfit. The sweater's cute, but like, it's like, it's giving me like millennial vibes. I don't know, it's just me, but I'm gonna go transfer back to my camera.
One thing I forgot to mention, I'm actually taking the bus this year, but I have to take it with my brother, so. So right now it's about 6.42, and I'm gonna go outside, take some pictures for the first day, and then I'm gonna get the bus and head to school. So, Arham, how are you feeling about your first day of middle school? Mm, good. That's all you have to say? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I only made it to school, but like, I'm gonna be late because my bus got here like five minutes before the bell rings. And like, the warning bell already rung, so I gotta get to home real quick. Sorry, right now I'm heading to the choir in the auditorium. I think I have a different teacher this year, so let's see how that goes. So, you guys, I'm at lunch right now, and it's like, we have like one period after this, there's six periods, so. And I'm all alone now because literally none of my friends are here. Literally everyone in a group chat, literally everyone has a different lunch except for like two people who are in the same lunch, so I'm all alone. Okay guys, so I just got home and the bus literally turned on the wrong turn. So like we literally had to redirect my bus driver to like our stop. So like that's why it took a while to get home. School ended like almost 40 minutes ago, so. <laughs> but school went pretty well today. I'm going to explain all my classes. So first period I have, what do I have first period? Let me check my schedule. First period I have walking and fitness. But semester two, I'm gonna have drama one, two actually. And then period two is geometry honors. Period three is American history. Period four is concert choir. Period five is Spanish three honors. And period six is English. And then, and then we drop like class seven. So like normally if I had a period seven, I'd be having chemistry honors. So I didn't have chemistry honors yet. I will be having it first thing tomorrow. Well, actually first thing tomorrow is homeroom. And the disadvantage is that we don't get lockers until three weeks later. I know, that's like after picture day. And I'm not excited for that. So, but thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. This duck day definitely could have gone better. I did not know what I was doing whatsoever. But it, it was okay, I guess. But I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And adios.